Well, like we, we have to te teach them. So mm -hmm. you pretend that you like normal, like close your eyes, close your like this, look like this, high, high, like not completely, like you're closing your eyes. So we are simulating like ptosis, like look at my nose, but without like, closing your eyes, like like I'm doing right now, squinting, but not like actively <laughs> squinting. <laughs> it's kind of like hard. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're simulating that she has ptosis right now. Got it. So what a normal patient with ptosis will do to compensate that is raise the brows. We can see that like normally when they are like, uh, like some of the expression lines here mm -hmm. in the forehead, and that will be the compensatory mechanism like when they are trying to overcome their condition. They are used to do that because they do that on regular basis to be able to see. When we do the testing, we have to remind them not to raise the brow because they're artificially, they will be lifting like uh, the height of the eyelid and they will most of the time when we see in the exam, they should be having ptosis. They come up as not having any problem at all. So when they do the testing, we have to remind them like not to artificially raise the height of the eyelid. Just do as they normally do and show them so that they can do the exam, which is without un the, the, without tape, the best way possible, and not trying to raise the the height of the, uh, the, the the brow, and therefore showing results that are inaccurate. So the second thing, very very important, when we remove like uh, do we have tape here? In one of the drawers, there should be tape. Yeah. Close your eyes. When we tape the eyelid, and this is very, very important because many patients may have more than one condition. They may have dermatochalasis, but also ptosis at the same time. If we remove the excess skin taping the eyelid, but we still see, open your eyes, that the patient doesn't go the, the height doesn't go all the way till the limbus, maybe is because they have a ptosis associated, like for example, the case that I'm showing right now. So even though I remove the excess skin, I see, still see that the patient is totic. When that's the case, we have to make sure that we raise the height of the eyelid as well with the taping so that we can accurately report the taping measurement, okay? So it's not just removing the excess skin, but also because like in this particular case where I'm inducing this ptosis, if you compare the right to the left, besides the skin, there is also the height issue. And what we need to do to compensate for that is raise the height of the eyelid as well so that we can record a proper um, the measurement with the tape. Perfect.